Hi, this is Raheem Zulfagarili from Excel Basement. And in this video, we will be learning that uh, how to do conditional formatting. And uh, I have one data. I just imported uh, one Excel file into this Power BI. And we have some SKU and their sales. And our criteria for condition formatting is number one, uh, we want to highlight the those SKU sales which are less than only uh, 100. And we will be allocate red color to those uh, particular numbers. So we need a criteria less than only uh, sales for that for all those SKUs. Then we will be highlighting uh, the numbers between 101 till 150 as a yellow color. And then last we will be applying condition formatting greater than only. I mean those numbers which are greater than 150, they will be assigned the blue color. So particularly if you have applied conditional formatting before in your uh, dashboards, so what you might be you have noticed that we don't have particular specific less than only or a greater than only criteria. Um, every time we need to uh, give two numbers um, a kind of a between range. But I will tell you in this video that how to uh, make sure that we apply the criteria greater than only or less than only in conditional formatting. So let's get started. I have one data as you can see. Uh, some some SKUs and their respective sales. So this is not uh, basically the real time data, but to just to give you an understanding of condition formatting those criteria, I have made this data. So for for applying the condition formatting, you need to click on this format icon on the visualization pane, and uh, from here you will see this option that is called condition formatting. Just need to click on this option; it will expand itself, and uh, you first you need to select the field from your table on which field you need to apply the condition formatting. So in our case, definitely we will be selecting the sales field here. And now we have uh, five options available in this latest feature of Power BI. Uh, the first one is that either we need to apply the background color on the sales column based on the conditions, uh, or we need to apply the font color, a data bar, icons, or web URL. So in this specific video, I will be explaining that how to apply the background color based on these three conditions. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first, we select the field, which is the sales from our table, right? And then uh, we will be just clicking on this off so that this background color option will be on and by default colors have been applied, but we need to add it. We need to set these three criteria less than only, between and greater than only. And uh, for doing that, we will click on this advanced controls hyperlink or button. And uh, background color uh, condition formatting window will appear now. So here we need to uh, select uh, from this first drop down menu either uh, these are giving three options format by color scale rules or field value. So in our scenario, we have some rules to be defined, and according to that, uh, condition formatting will be applied. So we will be selecting rules from this format by validation area, drop down area, right? And now here uh, we need to define the rule. So the first rule is says that uh, the SKU sales, which are below 100, less than 100, uh, needs red color to be filled as a background. So less than only. But here you can see that we have two fields. Either if value is greater than or equals to and less than and equals to. So particularly how we can uh, select less than only. So there is a very uh, 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 an awesome trick basically. And easiest way is um, we just need to apply the less than only, right? So uh, first of all, uh, do this instead of person, do uh, set this field as a number, okay? And we need that uh, less than or equals to, we will write 100 as a criteria. So first criteria says um, we need to format uh, all those respective SKUs whose sales are below 100 or equals to 100, I mean less than only, right? So either if I select less than or, or less than or equals to, I have put the number, this is 100, and uh, we need a color which is red. So from this drop down of color menu, we will be selecting a color, right? And here is greater than and equals to just uh, delete whatever you have written, either zero or any number. And this is acceptable, 
but then new rule new rule will be for the between so it's greater than or equals to 101 and instead of percent select the number then is less than and equals to here will be 150 right and we need uh, what we need we need the yellow color right so this is the second rule the third rule is basically for the greater than only so we will click on new rule and here we will select is greater than 151 and here in is less than we will not write any number either it's zero or anything we will leave it as blank okay and instead of percent select number so we have defined less than only which is the first rule uh, below 100 numbers red color we have defined the between criteria and for the greater than we have defined uh, is greater than 151 and in, in less than don't write anything skip this field right and press ok so now you can see that uh, with one click you have uh, three different colors on three different criteria right and if you need to change it later on uh, let's say it's equal to later on you can change this criteria as well